What's up, Sagittarius? Go ahead and trust yourself because you are meant to be watching this moon message for the last quarter moon in Gemini. So this is covering September 17th through the 20th. And last quarter moon in Gemini energy is all about releasing duality. Anything that doesn't serve you, sifting, sorting through the bullshit, being more definitive about what you want. So let's see who's popping out in your love energy, Sagittarius. Who's going to be more definitive about you? What's coming through for you, Sag? So pre-paving clarity, only the clearest answers for Sagittarius. What does Sag need to see? Who do they need to see that's in their love energy? What's coming out for Sagittarius? What's the energy popping out? Five, closing door completion. I don't know why I'm instantly getting like five, the fifth house heart chakra. Leo rules the fifth house and the heart chakra. I feel like someone's like, and especially with that fire energy, like someone really loves you closing door completion, but I feel like you're saying bye to them or bye to this connection or this relationship or something like that. Give me more for Sagittarius. Tell me more about who they're closing the door on, what this energy is, especially because it's coming towards them. And what's interesting is we're in a waning moon, which means we're like waning down, winding down, releasing, letting go. So this really does go with this moon's energy, releasing what doesn't serve you. Give me more for Sagittarius. Who's in their love energy? Who is this person they're closing the door on? Or what is that energy? Five of Wands. There's been fighting conflict with this person. Could possibly be a Leo. Definitely getting a lot of fire energy. Maybe a lot of rage going on in the house with this person, Sag. Flip the deck over there telling me. Tell me more for... Yeah, I'm getting that with that revved up engine in the background, too. It could have been a third party energy. So we have two threes. Definitely could have been a third party energy that is maybe why you're closing the door on this situation, Sag. So three of pentacles is Capricorn energy. Three of wands is Aries energy. Lots of fire energy. I feel like you want to start something new. Um, but this person coming in, I feel like they actually want, it's like you want to start something new by closing the door, but they want to start something new with you. And I, the interesting thing is I'm not even sensing a sorry, which is crazy because it's like, yeah, you're going to step out on this relationship and then come back whenever you damn well feel like it and pretend like nothing happened. All right. Give me more for Sag. What does Sag need to see? What does Sag need to see about this person that wants to come back and restart something after stepping out? Yeah, it was just fun. It was just one night of fun, Sag. I feel like this person's very immature. I'm getting a very immature energy with fun. I don't always get that with that card, but I'm getting a, like a very immature, naive, can't handle this little boy energy. Even the bottom is communication. I'm hearing I can take it out. Yeah, and it could have been because, like, they had one night of passion with somebody. But you're my true love, Sag. Like, I feel like this person's, like, coming back empty-handed, like, sorry-ass energy. I feel like you know better, Sag. That's why you're closing the door on this person. You've had enough of their bullshit. Tell me more for Sagittarius. What do they need to see? about this sorry ass person coming back into their energy and what they need to do about it. What's the affirmation? Action taker. Definitely getting that with the three of wands too. To carry me forth into the life I want to live, I will focus on my actions. I allow myself to think, to plan, and to pause. However, I will not get stuck in this mindset. To grow and learn, I take external steps to improve my state of being. So I feel like an external step is an action taking is closing the door for you. Closing the door on this relationship because you know it's not serving you. Yeah, this is part of getting rid of this like energy, this dusty energy, this waning energy, releasing, letting go of, closing the door. Yeah, it was fun while it lasted until it wasn't anymore. And I feel like this person's coming back as a sorry ass loser trying to get you back, Sag. So don't fall for the bait. Give me something for Sag. What does Sag need to see through the charms? 
So we have go with the flow energy with the sea turtle. I always get go with the flow, very mellowed out energy. You never see them in a rush. They're just always doing their thing in flow. Coming out on top of the five of wands. So I'm getting, um, what's that meme? I don't know if some of you have seen it. It's like a dog. It comes from a cartoon. It's like a dog <laughs> um, sipping tea in the middle of like fire ablaze in a house or something. And that's what I'm getting. Like, even though shit, there might be a shit show going on, like a tower moment. You just stay in your lane, Sag, because I feel like that's going to take you far. Just staying in your lane and avoiding the bullshit and kind of like closing the door on the situation is going to take you very far. Give me more for Sagittarius for the last quarter moon in Gemini. So we have the moon energy in Libra. Moon is all about change. Libra is all about balance. So this is all about reconfiguring something, especially when it comes to your feelings. Who is worthy of your time and attention and your energy and your emotions and who isn't? Fourth house, nurture. This is like um, cancer energy. Cancer rules the fourth house. So that's like mother energy, nurturing, caring. I feel like I'm hearing mind the business that pays you. Mind the business you keep. This is literally staying in your own lane. Nurture what's yours and forget the rest. So Sagittarius, you got, definitely got to say bye to someone, this fuck boy or fuck girl coming back in. But I feel like once you do that, it's like your energy is totally going to clean up and you're going to go so far. So I hope this resonated with you. Thank you so much for watching and I will definitely catch you during the Waning Crescent reading.